just a few minutes. Now, you may have heard of kidney transplants, but now imagine having to undergo three transplants in three consecutive years, and what's more, that all three operations fail. That is the story of Emmanuel Gittau, who has he was given three months to live by doctors way back in the year 2007. Emmanuel has since survived 14 major surgeries and has been undergoing dialysis for close to one and a half decades. Here now is Rita Tinina with that story of faith, pain, hope, and perseverance, a story of life without kidneys. In Mugumo, Kiambu County, 34-year-old Emmanuel Gitao checks on the vegetables in his kitchen garden. It may be a small garden, but Gitao lacks the energy to do much more. It's been just over 12 hours since he underwent dialysis, a procedure that has become part of his life. It all started in the year 2002 when he developed renal complications and had to undergo an emergency dialysis. But it did not solve the problem, and after several other complications, he was diagnosed with terminal renal failure. The condition with his kidneys was irreversible. He started undergoing dialysis, and in the year 2005, his family opted for what is seen as a way out of dialysis, a kidney transplant. My dad was the first donor, and uh, after being given, it, was, it, it worked, but for only three hours. At that time, I was in ICU, and uh, I had high-grade fever, which eventually, after trying to resuscitate it, the kidney, they said it, one of the veins burst inside, and they had to remove it. It was even rotting. A year later, his brother donated one of his kidneys. Gitao had better luck the second time round. At least it, it gave me service for seven months, and uh, I came back to Kenya, stayed for the seven months. Again, it failed. I had to go back to India. They tried resuscitating it, like twice, going and coming back. But eventually it failed again and they had to remove it. The family did not give up. In 2007, his sister gave up one of her kidneys. It failed after one month. Doctors gave up on Gitao. After that, they even prepared me for death, telling me that uh, I have only three months to live back 2007. But I thank God because I told them it's only God who knows my fate. Nine years down the line, he is still alive living on faith and hope. We just let God be God in everything. You do your part. Then the rest, if it happens, if you become sick, God knows it. Ours is to keep faith. Uh, you know, you tell God, yes, we believe you, you're a healer, but everything has a reason. So at the end of the day, we'll be at peace and we'll get the grace to persevere. Gitao undergoes dialysis twice weekly. Every session costs 12,000 shillings. In a month, he spends 96,000 shillings. In a year, over 1.1 million shillings. In that journey, he says, God, his parents, his family and friends have seen him through. Every challenge you're given, God gives a solution. And the first solution is that he has given me very great parents, siblings, very caring. His father, who donated a kidney in 2005, died in 2015 after his remaining kidney failed. Yetao, who has made five trips to India for treatment, was not always this way. I was tall. I didn't have this hunchback. Uh, I was very active. Uh, you know, I used to play b basketball. Football, swimming was my best. Here, he is with his parents and a group of friends in India during his first transplant. He is the tallest. As a teenager, he was your typical teenager. As a young boy, he stood out. Now, he can't do most of the things he was able to, such as walk for a distance, sit or sleep for long hours, or some of the things that too many come naturally. I don't pass any urine. For the last 14 years, I have not been passing any urine. I pay to urinate. A caterer by profession, he cannot do much in the kitchen, but with the help of his staff, he has a small business making snacks such as crisps.
it doesn't mean that I'm sick. I'll have to sit down and, and you know, uh, I, I just become a parasite initially. You know, small effort and God does the rest. Robbed of his youth by his condition, Gitao illustrates the story of his life in his book, Life Without Kidneys. It has always been my desire to tell people more about God. You know what God has done to me, my experiences, you know, despite all. Eh? And you know, the main reason I really wanted to do this is people to let God be God. Despite his strong spirit, he has faced ridicule. There were some guys who were laughing, saying that I look like a pig. They were saying in vernacular, I look like a pig, laughing, saying that I look like I'll die tomorrow. But well, yes, I look funny. <laughs> that uh, even when I'm laughing, people, they're like, Ay, ujamana kaj. Every Sunday, he visits churches to offer messages of encouragement. He also advocates for a healthy lifestyle. As in your rumor, to feel pity on themselves because, you know, it can happen to you. Everyone is a candidate to that, considering that uh, lifestyle, uh, unhealthy lifestyle is what is dominating nowadays. People are not even bothered of uh, good health, you know. 14 years of dialysis, 14 major operations and living without kidneys. Gitao's is a journey of determination, a life living on faith and hope to see another day. Rita Tinina.